Hey, what's up guys? I'm back with another one here that I've been trying to get done for a while. So I think today this is just going to be kind of an intro video for this company, Hot 42. I purchased this small little kind of mini hitbox with, it actually has like computer keyboard keys on it. And uh, in the process of purchasing it, I got to talking with the, the seller and uh, the, I guess the owners of the company, Hot 42, their official store on AliExpress. They have a website as well, Hot, H-A-U-T-E 42.com. But they were actually kind enough to send me two of their better hitboxes, not their best hitboxes, but some of their better hitboxes than this little one. So I just want to unbox these and take a quick look at them. I'm not going to hook them up or do any gameplay now, but then I'll, I'll pre uh, prep another video for a little bit of gameplay with um, the best of the three of these, which is going to be the bottom one, the G13. So you got the G12, and then I forget the name of this one right here, but um, this one was kind of like a whole, a whole other category. So... Let's just take a look at them in this video, see what they are. They're different than your typical hitbox that you would see if you type in hitbox and you're, if you're not familiar with them, they're kind of like a fight stick except there's no actual joystick on it. Instead, there's an up, down, left, right button for your fingers and it makes it really easy for those that get uh, used to it to pull off combos and moves and combos and moves in fighting games. So um, it becomes like a, a really useful tool for those who are competitive in those type of games, once you get used to them, I think they actually prefer them better than like a, a fight stick. But again, it's just a preference thing. There's there's people out there that would much prefer to use a stick. And for me, I, I don't know. I have no clue because I've not really used either in any kind of serious way. I've used fight sticks, but just for fun. And I have like a Pandora's box, double fight stick. But these are a whole other thing. They're pretty, they're kind of a new thing to the scene. So let's check it out. This is the first one. I think I might have showed this one in a quick clip or quick se quick section of one of my other videos. But this one comes like as kind of like a DIY type of project where you can put it together yourself. I mean, it's basically just the computer keys, the 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 button, the the switches, which are hot swappable. And uh, man, I wish I could get some brighter light up in this. Um, let me see if I can do this right here. There we go. So, yeah, it, it feels really nice. This is the mini. This is the hot, the hot board mini, as I, I believe what this one's called. So you got your left, down, right, and up. And that's the way this one's designed with your A, B, X, Y, R, L, L R2, and L2 over here. So it plugs in via USB-C right here. And there's a USB-A port right there. So... I'm not 100% sure if it, if it can be uh, powered by either or or what, what the deal is. But there's also a little, what looks like a little boot um, refresher right there. So I think there's some kind of some kind of chip in here or something. But it says input modes A, switch, B, X, input, X, PS3, and D input. Y is PS4, and, and RT is keyboard. So these are things I'm gonna have to learn because the uh, the instructions that came with it were pretty limited. So right here, um, the, and the instructions that came with the, the other hit boxes were in Chinese, basically. So I need to um, figure out how to. This desk getting a little bright. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out how to how to use the thing, but it's awesome. For them to even give it to me because you know i'm not a fighting game channel like there's some some people that are really into this stuff like uh there's a channel called ninhongo gamer and n-i-n-h-o-n-g-o gamer who who focuses a lot on fight sticks and and this would be his his area of expertise i think he wouldn't he would know what to do and what to say but i just want to kind of take a, give you guys a look at what it comes with so if i got it pre pre uh built so I didn't want to have to build it. It was only like three dollars more to have it sent pre-built, um, but they still give you the the little tools and the extra little switch. I'm not. I don't remember exactly what type of switches they are. They are, but uh, for those of you who are knowledgeable in that area about what switches you like and what you don't, um, you can ask me and I can find out. They're. Uh, and they feel really good, but I'm not sure what good good means to you. So I'm going to put this one back for now. I'm going to open up the next box, which is the G12, uh, I believe. Yeah, the G12. I've already opened that one and took a look at it. And uh, it's uh, it's amazing. I mean, it's it's it looks 
different. I'll say that. And it looks awesome. And I know it has LEDs and stuff like that too. So it's made of like an acrylic. And man, it's got some weight to it. Look at that. It's so freaking cool. I mean, it really does look cool. Same thing here. Input mode. A, switch. B, X, input. R, T is keyboard. X is PS3 and D input. And Y is PS4. There's their website, hot42.com. This is called the Hotpad V1, according to v, or Hotpad V1.1. I'm not sure if that's just some kind of uh, system that's going on within it, but this is the G13. So take a look at the buttons. They're not they're not like very shallow buttons, but they're not very tall either. It, it, they just look like they are when you look down on it because it has depth, because it's transparent, and it's just you can take this off and put your own uh, game art in there if you want to. But they feel amazing. I mean, I can't even describe how they feel because I've never used them in game. But I can tell you they feel like quality, just straight up quality. Like I can't, I can't say anything other than they feel perfect. And I'm excited to use them. But I'm, I know that if I was to just get out there and start uh, trying to use them straight on film, I'm gonna just end up blowing the whole video. So I'm just trying to give you guys a look right here. Look how beautiful this thing is. You can hear the nice clicky clack. So we have our we have we have a power switch here. We have a USB-C port there. We have another USB-C port here. See, so these are things I need to learn. Okay, what do we have there? That's power or it says some pin pin one and pin two. Okay, so this is a switch for something. It changes it into one form or another, I believe it might be an input mode. So we have our USB-A port on this side. I have a lot to learn, guys, but I want you to check out their website. Check out their AliExpress page, too, if you can, because, I mean, they have all their products there. And the main thing is, what convinced me is their reviews. I mean, I've never even heard of this company, but I, when I went to their reviews and I saw the reviews that were made for, for this one, the previous one I showed you, and the, the G13... I was blown away. I mean, they have like a 4.9, and everybody is just raving about how much they love them. So, somewhere in the world, these are really popular, and um, they just haven't caught on here. Or maybe they have, and I just haven't seen it. But, yeah, there's that. Comes with a white USB cable. It's A to C, so, in my opinion, um, I believe that you're going to just power it with A, and C goes into the device. Here's your. Uh, it's got a little, some little rubber pads for the bottom, an extra switch, your uh, your little tool to remove remove the keys. I'm not sure what those little nubs are for right there, but they probably they look like um a red and a black nub that might be used to customize these keys right here because these have little nubs on them. So maybe there's one that you want to like. There's turbo right there. Um, you want to have one switch or a couple switches that are e more easily identifiable. I'm not really sure, but look, they look like switch caps. So, all right, that's that. I'm pretty excited about this. It's, it's just a, it's a fun product. It's something different. I don't know how many views something like this will get me because it's a kind of a niche product, but I'm looking forward to doing a, a gameplay video on it. And I hope you guys are willing to watch that. And share it with people who you might think would be interested. Because there are some gamers out there who love Fight 6 and stuff like that. I just don't have them following my channel. So maybe we can get the word out. I'm going to try to put the proper hashtags and stuff to get this to the people that actually would would uh, find use with it. I know for me, I can find use with it. But I'm going to have to learn. There's people out there that will go to town with this thing right away. So here's the G13. Let's check it out. It's weighty too, look, it's 480 grams. Okay, so this is how it actually comes packed. The other two I had already opened. So you got the cable on the top, nice and clean, white, A to, a to C. We got our extra key with our, our, our little tool and our extra little, uh, little uh, rubber switch caps. We got an instruction manual here. Let's take a quick look at this. I'll just let you guys read it, and then I'll read it on my own time, so I don't waste your time. Okay, so it's going down like this, and down like this. So I'm going to scroll from here, see if I can get a little more light up here, um, and let you guys kind of 
pause and read if you feel the need. Uh, the key value table, that's going to be useful. That's pretty cool. The entire thing is in English. Um, the other paper I got had very little English on it, on the first one. But this right here seems to be a... I'm not even really reading it. I'm just kind of scanning it as I'm holding it. And it seems to be a thorough kind of detailed description as to what to do. So I'm going to keep that. Don't lose that. But I'm sure their website will have all the information anybody would need. And their staff is super friendly, so they can help by answering any questions anybody might have. But if you're into the fighting games, or even platformers, you check out check out Wolf Den's channel. You'll see he, he modded an 8-bit do. 8-bit do. Um, and I really don't want to mess up this, this product, so I'm going to be careful with this. He modded an 8-bit do fight stick. And he put keycaps on it for, for his directional, um, instead of having a joystick. And it's very similar, you know? And I'm sure he would appreciate this. He would probably even showcase this on his, on his channel. But look at this one. It has a little LED screen there. I'm not even sure what is displayed on there. I'm sure it's probably like your input mode. Um, maybe whether or not turbo is, 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 uh, in, is set. Uh, sorry for all the reflections. I'm just trying to have enough light here to give this thing the 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 light it deserves and it needs. And just know that I could be in really dim light here with this thing going, and you're still gonna be able to see it because it's got LEDs in it and um, all different colors. And I think there's so much to this that I'm not even aware of yet that I can't do I can't do it justice. I just think it's super cool. It has like an industrial modern look. You can see the bottom of the keys right here. We got our little information right there. And these keys right here, they have like a kind of a foggy look to them. They're clear but foggy so you can still see the switches through them. And again you can put whatever switches you like in them. So this one's a little different. This one has an extra button. Okay, so the G12 didn't have this button up here. It just had these. So these are, this would be left, down, right. And I believe this is jump. Okay, so here's all your, here's all your face buttons. I got to figure out what that button's for. So, man, it's super cool. It's just straight up, that's just a PCB in there. That's the bottom side of a PCB. Or it's like kind of a, I guess it's a top kind of pancaking a PCB in there. Because you could see the little ribbon cable right there for the LCD. And there's this there's this look to to it. You see these tiny little itty bitty holes that look like electronic type of um, something to do with maybe traces underneath. I'm not sure. Yeah, you can see the traces. You can, I, I can't get the right light here, but I can see all the all the um, like the the little computer board traces. But dude, this is super cool. I'm sorry I don't have a video showing it in action today, but I really wanted to get something out. For people to see what I have to show, because I've been holding on to this for too long, and it's been it's been uh, it's been tough to get to because it's one that's going to require some some extra time for me to learn, and uh, a lot of the other stuff was just kind of pick up and and show. So there it is, you guys. The Hot Forty Two G Thirteen. I showed you the G Twelve, and then the Mini. I'm gonna pull this one back out again. You saw what the G13 looks like. This is the mini. This is where it got where I got started. This thing was 20 bucks. That was like 11, 11 sale. I still think it's about 20 bucks. It's what is this? The hot board. Yeah, this is like the hot board mini. So go take a look at their site, Hot 42, or type that in on AliExpress. Listen to those keys. They just sound so good and they feel so good. And I don't even really know much about keyboards. I do have that ape it do electron. El electronic keyboard too so we're gonna do a video on that as well we might be able to compare the switches and those to these because I I don't know much about keyboard switches like what is it that makes one better than the other red green blue um, and what color are these ones I don't know um, I'll go I'll go through the the information I'll figure it out for the, the upcoming video for this device but it should be fun I think this one is gonna be something that Hopefully I can garner me some new views from, from some people who are interested in some of the more obscure stuff, not just the emulation handhelds.
But like I said, I'm doing controllers, I'm doing uh, game reviews, I'm doing whatever, whatever I could come up with. And this right here is badass. This is cool. This is one of the coolest things I've got yet, I think. I really appreciate them sending this to me, and I uh, can't wait to use it. So stay tuned. All right, you guys, I'll put this away. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace.